there, gorgeous. I'm Denise. I'm a money mindset mentor, author, and founder of Money Bootcamp. But I want to talk to you about something really important, worrying about money. If money worries are stressing you out right now or money fears have been keeping you up at night, this video is for you. We are talking about how to stop those money worries. Now you might think, hey, Denise looks pretty chilled. She obviously never worries about money and you would be wrong. I still worry about money sometimes, even though I'm a multi-millionaire, but I was like that at the start of my business. I was always worried about money. And so that's one of the things I want to tell you is Money itself does not cure money blocks. It really doesn't. But you have to look at where some of those money worries might have come from. Now, I grew up in a situation where I was always worried about money. I spent my 20s always worried about money. So I know exactly how that feels. And if you're there right now, then know that this is not an insurmountable problem. And by the end of this video, you're going to feel much calmer as well. So let me just say... When you're worried about money, first of all, you think, okay, this is it. This is, this is real. This is going to be like this forever. And you start to compound that, right? You start to feel like, oh my God, this is going to get even worse. And here's the thing. I want you to get out of that as much as you can now. So then you're going to have the energy to do something about it. Because yes, mindset is really important, but it's also really important for your own inner well-being to let go of some of those worries. And we know things about the law of attraction that you only get more of what you already are. So when you're really stressed about money and really worried, sometimes it gets worse, right? It attracts more. You might have some more bills coming in. You might find unexpected things that you didn't know about, like your car breaks down. All of this stuff happens and it starts to compound and feel really, really shit. And it's not that you're creating it. I'm not saying that. It's just that you're not in the position to do anything about it. And each problem feels like it's getting worse and worse. So what are we going to do for you now that you're sitting here feeling worried about money? So the first thing I think is really important is to voice your fears. Actually talk about it out loud, write about it, but just acknowledge what you're worrying about. And you can do this in the comments too. I can hear it for you because sometimes we just go around with this low level feeling of dread and we just need to get it out. Um, So I'm here if you want to just say the things that you're worried about. Just talk about your money fears. I'm worried about money. I feel this stress about money. It actually just feels good to be truthful about it. Now, It's really important sometimes to not put a Band-Aid on that, right? And not just go, no, no, I should feel good about money. Every day in every way, I feel wealthy, wealthy, wealthy. Because if you're truly worried about money and worried about bills or not attracting enough clients, that feels really real for you. And when you voice it, you'll be able to at least acknowledge it and it feels better out than in. Like farts, right? Sometimes it's just like let it out so you're not holding it on the inside. Now, I know this is taking a bit of a dark turn, right? You're just like, oh my God, she's making me talk about my fears. But when we talk about your fears, then we can make a plan and then that's the next step. So one thing you can do, and it's a bit of an emergency SOS, is to do some tapping, do some EFT. I don't know if you've ever tried it before. It really is such a great way to voice those fears, but also do something to calm down your nervous system. So you can find a lot of YouTube videos about it. But if you do know EFT, I'm just going to quickly show you something that I do when I'm feeling worried. So I just literally say, even though I have these money fears, and then I talk about what I'm experiencing, Even though I have this pit in my stomach about money, even though I'm feeling so stressed about money, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Do you still feel like, oh yeah, that's starting to feel a little bit better. So that's the thing I do. As soon as I'm feeling worried and stressed about money, I do some tapping and I just acknowledge it out loud, even though I'm feeling like money is never going to be enough. I'm never going to have any more clients. I'm going to lose everything. Like, I know it sounds dramatic, but sometimes it just feels really good just to say it, do some tapping, and kind of let that dissipate a little bit. Then when you have just a little bit more calm, then you can sit down and make a plan. And so here's what I want you to do next. I want you to actually look 
at your numbers. This is going to help you feel much more empowered about what's next. Okay, so how much do you actually really need right now? Sometimes we just think, oh my God, everything's a disaster. But how much do you need to make? How much do you need to feel better about money? Because if it's really vague, you don't even know what you're asking the universe for. You don't even know how you're going to fix it if you don't know the actual amount you need. You might just go, yeah, a million dollars, great, that will fix everything. But no, I want you to get specific about it because sometimes people go, hey, universe, send me more money because I'm feeling stressed. And then you find like a dollar in the street, right? And you're like, that's not enough, but you have to be more specific. So here's what I do. I write out a list and it could be a list of bills, a list of things that you need to fix, anything that you can think of just so you can see some numbers on there. And one part of you might be like, oh my God, just seeing that number is going to make me feel even more stressed. But here's what's going to do. If you can voice a number, if you can say a number, then at least you know what you're playing for. And if you can do your tapping and you can feel neutral about it, it might give you the energy to come up with some money making ideas. So write down that list. What do you need? What bills you need to pay? How much money do you need to make? Just so you're not going, hey, universe, send me some more money. This is going to make you feel so much more empowered and in control of what's next. Okay, so the last thing to do when you're feeling stressed about money is to reassure yourself that you are enough. And it's hard when you feel like you don't have a lot of people in your corner. You just want something to come and help you and solve this problem. But sometimes you just need to be in your own corner and remind yourself that you are enough. Because remember, like you could have a lottery win coming out of the blue and it still might not make you feel safe about money. More money doesn't necessarily cure money blocks. Lots of money doesn't necessarily mean that you'll never have fears and worries. And yes, of course, it'd be nice if something fell into your lap right now, but it's hard to manifest from a place of anxiety. So when you feel good about yourself and good about your money, you can take action and then you can do something about it. So voice your fears, do some tapping, make a list of all of your numbers, know how much you need, know how much you're asking for, and Remind yourself that you are enough. Be in your corner. You are enough and you can do it. So your fears and your worries about money are totally valid and real and it's totally okay, but you can do something about them. So if you need some help, especially around your money blocks, I've got a free workshop you might like next. It's about clearing seven really common money blocks that I see for entrepreneurs in particular. And you can watch it at denisedt.com slash blocks. Okay, I hope you're feeling more calm about money now. I'm sending you lots of love. I'm Denise Duffield Thomas, and I'll see you on one of the next videos. It's your time and you're ready for the next step.